A hundred seconds of silence in Tel Aviv. A hundred days too many, say the captives' families, as they took to the stage at what's become known as Hostage Square. There are 136 hostages there. We're waiting for them all, each minute, each second. They were kidnapped because the state failed, because we failed, and now we must do everything, everything, to release them. November's temporary ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas through mediators saw the release of over half of the 240 captives. Their return was promising and helped provide the proof of life needed for some of those left behind. But the deal ended and there's been no sign of another so far. Israel has rejected Hamas's condition to end the war which has already killed nearly 24,000 Palestinians. If anything, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed on Sunday to continue. One of the things that's become clear is that we must wage this war and it will take many more months. That is why we are bringing a revised annual budget today. It requires us to spend much more on security than we planned. For those safely back in Israel, the fight for survival has ended, but the agony continues, especially for those whose relatives are still inside Gaza. Being kidnapped is not knowing if and when your next meal will arrive. It's feeling suffocated at all hours of the day and not knowing when you will get to see the light of day. Thousands of Israelis are also calling for an early election and for Netanyahu to resign for failing to protect the country on October the 7th and for the inability to bring back all the captives. This square has become symbolic, a place that unites, a place to grieve and a place to call for action, with many saying there is no victory until all the captives are brought home, no matter the price, even if that means an immediate end to the war. This 24-hour rally has demonstrated a shift towards a more angry tone from some of the relatives as they accuse the government of neglecting the captives, directly addressing Netanyahu saying, a hundred days you didn't get rid of Hamas, our borders are still not secure and you failed to bring them home. Sara Khairat, Al Jazeera, Tel Aviv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.